This module is a simple bi-directional single pole double throw relay based switch. It can switch audio. That's good to me. Control voltages. Anything really. And even without plugging it in, it makes a nice clicky sound. In fact, as an example of what you can do with relays, this is a project that my mates did where they were switching video signals onto CRT screens and playing the tune of Stranger Things on relays at the same time. Links to that are below. So, what is a relay? Well, it's one of these. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They were invented in the 1800s for telecommunications. This one came from a post office telephone exchange. You can tell because of the labels on here. And it demonstrates how relays work. It's got a big coil of wire, and when you pass current through it, a magnetic field is created, and it attracts this armature here, which moves the switch contacts. <laughs> Well, exactly the same thing is happening in the relays that are compatible with this module. Of course, the nice thing with these ones is that you can see inside the relay. So you can see everything working and moving around. And every one of these relays sounds different and has different switching characteristics. And you can swap them out easily because there's a socket inside the module that you can access via the panel. And that backlight on the relay is a real miniature bulb. You can adjust the brightness with the trimmer that's hidden inside the coil jack with this little screwdriver that comes with the kit. These relays are momentary, so that means when the coil's not engaged, the switch is resting in its normally closed A position, as indicated by these panel lights. The switch is single pole, double throw, so that means you can switch two inputs to one output, or a single input between two outputs. Of course, you don't have to press this button all the time to switch it. If you send a 5 volt signal into the coil jack, then it will switch automatically for you. For example, if I take the square wave from this LFO here and plug it in, so this is the sound in the room, the relay click. But what if I put the Music Thing Modular microphone next to it, which has a contact mic in here? Let's have a listen to it then. And all these relays go up to audio rate switching. And so because it's moving, it literally becomes a speaker. And because it has resonant frequencies, it acts a bit like one of those uh, speakers that was made for the Ons Martino. And of course, if you're controlling it with an oscillator that's one volt per octave tuned, then you can get stuff out of it like this. Add a bit of chorus or a reverb. You don't have to clock it with a square wave, you can clock it with any wave, as long as it goes up to that switching threshold. So here I'm switching with a square wave. If I switch to triangle, very different. There's the ramp. And the most obvious thing you can do with this is acting like a tremolo, like a chopper, just cutting the audio in and out. You can do that slowly. Once you get into audio rates, you're doing amplitude modulation stuff. Well, now you're listening to the 3340 oscillator here. And what I've done is routed one eight step sequence through the A position, one through the B position, and I could switch between the CV sources and get different sequences controlling the pitch of the oscillator. And of course you don't have to switch that by hand, you can program that to be switched by something else. What if I set it to be switched by the gate output of this sequencer, and then control the switching with the duty cycle? Well, now I've connected up the gate signal from both of these 8-step sequences to the coils of these two modules, and I can use it like a drum sequencer.
imagine if you have eight of these going, you can create quite some uh, percussive stuff. And that's all obviously affected by the gate duty as well. And if you've got two of them, then you can start to do logic operations. So here we've got the output for the oscillator going in to the B position. So if I switch this over, you'd expect to hear sound, but I've got the common plugged into this B position here. So only while both of these are pressed, do you hear the sound? Well, that's an AND gate. And you can easily expand that to do any logic operation you want. If you get enough of these relays, you can make a whole computer. So really, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with these modules. Uh, and everybody will be able to do something different because you'll have something different in your system.